Good afternoon, Fifty. We are here. We are at another place, another village here in Malta, and this time we are just stepping in right here into this fortification. It's a peninsula, all right? This is a peninsula, and well, it has three names. It's called Isla, Senglea, and some people know it as Città Invicta, which is, I believe, Victorious uh, City. So, check this out. Check this fortification right here, and uh, we're about to get in. This is a place that I haven't been for a while. I used to come here. Maybe I'll share with you some spots. Uh, when I was a kid, I will show you exactly this. There's, there's a marina. It's part of the Cotonera, you know, the three cities, famously for the tourists here. Wow. And it's all like this. Check out the views you get as soon as you come in. So there's the marina, there's Birgu right there. I did film there, I did a vlog there. That's the ferry that you can catch from uh, Slima. So there's a ferry that you can catch from Slima. So there's Birgu, there's uh, Bormla as well. So let's get in, fellas. I'm in the heart of the village and then I show you and go to the seaside area to show you look it's one of the churches right here look how big it is wow so there's uh, bars all over and that's where we go we're going in just a few we're going there seaside the marina this is a great shot maybe I will take a picture for Instagram wow look at this so let's check out the center of the village. I think there's a mass going on there or maybe an activity going on in there. Let's see what this place, this area take us. Let's see. I know that most of the restaurants like, you know, seaside, uh, seaside uh, towns or, or cities, there's a lot of restaurants in there. Uh, I know one, hopefully it's still there. As I said, I haven't been here for a while, but we'll see. We used to go to, to eat pizza in there. But there's shops, yeah, there's uh, shops in here. Look, every, every area from this street, these side streets, narrow streets. Actually, um, my auntie had a small room in here. Look from this angle, the, the church. Wow. Now, since Isla Senglea, it's an old city, okay, uh, very old. You see, obviously near the church where they started to populate in here, see old houses right there, okay. So these are, I don't know how many years old, but literally you can see they did refurbishment on this one. Beautiful Maltese Galerias, that's what they call them. Look, the red ones, greens, all over. Let's go to the seaside, guys. Now I can tell you one thing. The smell of food here, it's unbelievable. So that means that we are close to, to the seaside, to the restaurants, bars, etc, etc, and there they are. I wish that you can experience the smell. It smells of garlic, onions, and perhaps fish. That's what this place is famous for. This is the area. Yeah, I think this is the room. Maybe. Because there, is, there was a restaurant in here, which, which was called Marina, I believe. So, uh, so there, there is a restaurant here. Maybe they changed it. I don't know. We're going to check it out. So we had a room. My auntie had a room. I believe it was this one or this one. It was a small room. And she sold it out, so wow, this brings great memories. Maybe she's watching this video, my auntie, my auntie. So we used to come here for maybe a weekend, and then obviously, I will tell you a story, a little story. We come here, they changed it into apartments, so there's accommodation in here, but check this view out. 
changed it to Mavica Marina. Oh. Guys, I want to show you everything. This is a, an interesting peninsula of Isla. Well, they, they did some work, so I see they, they opened a lot of restaurants rather than before. But look, all the prominent here used to walk. My, my uncle used to fish here. This is where they released the boats. This is here, go right there. Check out the boats in here. This is a nice view. And this is the best time to come and uh, take pictures and uh, do videos. Look at that area. So, uh, this Valletta right there. And that's part of the Grand Harbor. But, as I was saying, let me share with you a story. So we used to come here uh, with my uncle. My uncle died a few years ago. But we used to come from uh, from his room, like a, we call it villaggiatura, like a small room that uh, most people around here, they have for summer. And he had a boat. I think it was small, like this, just like this yellow one here. And we used to, uh, he used to fish actually. He used to fish from here, but then, I can remember also times that uh, we took the boat like early in the morning, like 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning with my brother. We used to go to the Grand Harbor Center where the cruises now comes in and, uh, and boats, etc., etc. And we used to uh, go fishing. So I uh, had a motor just like this one. And uh, that was a great experience. Definitely great experience for, for us when we were kids. But also, another interesting thing is, oh, I mesmerized with the view. Anyway, hope that you're enjoying the view, let me know. So one other uh, cool thing is when I was younger, also what we did is since there was no boats, there was no marina, this is the Birgo Marina, as you can see a lot of big boats nowadays. But before, when I was younger, okay, there was none of that. So few boats, you know, few boats of the locals and but definitely not like this with the marina here big boats etc etc so anyone can could come here with tranquility etc etc not like this as there's a lot of traffic a lot of chaos but when was the time I used to swim from here literally from this side okay from here to the other side it's not that far okay it's hardly to do it nowadays because they think that you are nuts that you're crazy but that's uh, that's uh, what we used to do uh, we did it most times in summer around this time and we had a lot of fun but it's i, I think it's not doable this time and age because of a lot of boats a lot of big boats well it has changed for sure still you see locals here living around this area but the restaurant that i mentioned has changed to another name but they turned the upper deck perhaps or upper floor into apartments because i still remember the name was marina so marina pizzeria i think it was now they changed it into an italian i believe restaurants so let's move to this side let me show you more about isla Wow, this is cool what they did on benches, old benches here. They did like a, a quote from fishermen, local fishermen. So I love this. So it's in Maltese and it's pretty good. They, they painted all colors, the benches. It gives it, you know, something different. So yeah, as you can see, you know, the, the restaurants took, uh, took the opportunity to basically set up shop you know with the chairs more chairs more more uh, tables even more tables ready it's saturday when i'm filming this but look check out the maritime museum right there and in birgu but wow it's a chill day it's 36 degrees celsius today so still uh, tourists coming in it is cool people coming tourists coming here but look more of these benches around this area oh look at this guys this boat hey 
All right, see ya. Well, I uh, think you can run this. It's free Wi Fi. Oh, there's a monument. So, to honor memory of Colonel Juan Batista. Atzopardo, born in Sanglia. Look, Juan Batista Atzopardo. I don't know any historical facts about him, but this is the guy. That's a big monument they did for him. The waiter setting up for the evening. Right there. Well, that's, uh, you know, the initial part of the promenade here, but this goes all the way around there, but I will show you exactly uh, a nice spot for those who want to visit, ever ever want to visit here in, uh, in Isla. Look at the guy with the Maltese boat right there. People trying to fix, maybe having a good time with their boat. Look at this huge super yachts right there i wonder who owns that but there's a lot of uh, these kind of boats that they use for the racing in uh, september at the grand harbor there's like a competition okay called irregata so there's a competition called the regatta look at the tiny road tiny tiny street right there so regatta is a competition at the Grand Harbor, taking place at the Grand Harbor here, and they use boats similar to this, uh, and uh, they just race. So they're Cotonera mostly um, uh, who are involved, Marsa, Paletta as well, apart from the three cities that I mentioned, and uh, they uh, race open, open sea. Some are two, I believe, so two people. Uh, that row okay so it's kind of rowing that's the kind of uh, to put it in words the regatta what the regatta is it's kind of rowing so they row with two or four people i believe i don't know if there's another uh, sections but uh, it's viewed by a lot of tourists they uh, stream it live on the internet and also on uh, local tv and people train maybe we'll see someone training uh, on this side but look they're taking also people and tourists around this uh, this beautiful natural harbor guys so look if this is not peace you know that's why people come here like this guy fishing tranquility and uh, checking out the views but national I just see up we yell at us and the Galaliota, and Mushek Mushek. Oh, that's that. What? Arusa Arusa? Eh, on it, and the hall. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to go to the house. 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 Hey, 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 vlog, vlog. Hey, hey. Saurella, Saurella. Saurella? No, 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 no,
across it. See ya. Oh, what do you mean? Good, good, good. On YouTube, on YouTube. I'm there YouTube channel. Ah, and then you, of course. Gordon Travels, see, eh? Gordon Travels. The last time I was in the area, I was in the area. I miss him, what I miss, yeah, too. Hey, wait, wait. Oh, look at this. All right, we've got something. Whoa, cross it. Wow. Uh, Zabria. Zabria. So guys, there's a lot of fish. Talfom, hops best, hops best, Talfom. Yeah, one deck. Hey, wow. Udaw, udaw, yes, call. Hey, wow. There you go. Estra pal, pallo hara di era. Estra, alla liotta, ma alla liotta. Ah, na alla liotta si è vinto. Si è. Ah, na al bar ma liotta ha vinto. Ah, rompi. Ehi, cosa? Cosa? Alla liotta va bene. Cosa ti dico che le macchine non sono? Bella. Ho scelto una ragione lì, giorno mio che. Quando il rampante fa i cavini, no? Quando il rampante fa i cavini. Ecco, Zaira, ecco... Ah, no, 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 and I believe that the property prices here is, has gone to another level because of the views and construction around and, uh, you know, improvements, development and improvements. So now you can see also the fortification. So look, look how, 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 uh, how it is, it's like in a cave. There's a garage right there and it goes around. So it's incredible they built this fortification on this On these rocks, right there. Even with the basement, I wonder what it was used for here. But this is one of the things that I wanted to show you: the pitch, the football pitch. Let's see. Whoa! Right there. So this is single pitch. So let me here. We used to play, and there wasn't even turf when I used to play here, so... But look at the views, guys. There's a cruise. A big cruise right there. And like I said, this is the best time to come over here. But look, this is what I wanted to show you. It's called Il Guardiola. This was a great and firm point when there was sieges, wars, but imagine the views from there. This is a tourist spot. If you come here, take pictures. It's a tourist spot right there. Look at that, guys. Welcome to the Grand Harbor. Come and swim in here. Some coastal the police right behind me. Anyway, now look, this is Marsa, and that crane, there's some art on that crane called Alice, which I believe that you can see on the map. If you go on Google Maps and type Alice Mall, you're gonna see that crane. Now look, coastal. Uh, 
some issues with the with the guys riders or the coastal police, I believe, or coastal guard. So this is Bard Laragata. Maybe I got some uh, something to drink. Actually, let's get something to drink here. When you open the tap. Hello. Hello. Uh, good, good, good. And the Coke Zero. Coke Zero. Pepsi, Max, it's ready for you. Yeah. Okay. Take away. Take away. Take away. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Have a weekend. Thanks. Thank you. This side. Well, this is a nice spot. Chill. Well, let me tell you guys, this is perfect spot. I know. Next to the toilet is bad. What else you, you what else you need? Perfect spot. Okay. Can you get right there? Yeah. So there are a lot of these storage areas. Call them what they are, all logged but people store. I don't know if this the government on this or maybe individuals. This one is fully barricaded. They put up the wall. We are ascending into the main area, main square, passing through this bridge right there. I'm doing construction in here. Look how old the building is and the structures here. So this is a shrine right here of the Madonna. Madonna. That's what we say it like the Italians, Madonna. Some I think the English the British say it otherwise, Madonna. So even these houses, not bad views of Marsado. And this is where we're going, Ginian Il Guardiola. So this is for this video continue this video because it's gonna uh, be in the Guardiola so I'm gonna thank you second maybe part two uh, so this is the end of part one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the uh, around the Sangria around Isla and I'll see you in the next video take care